Um, well, thank you very much for having me here and for the opportunity to uh, to speak to you guys about a topic which is uh, of extreme importance, both for the minorities, but also the majority populations. Um, we'll get into it. Uh, well, I'm head of the department of this uh, foundation called Foundation for Social Responsibility. It's a Danish uh, organization where we have different, uh, we have about, we are a platform for many different uh, social, uh, voluntarily social projects, uh, 15 of them actually, and here are 10 of them, just to have a background where we support them, we we, we are sort of a platform that gives the back office and also helps design, develop, and, and, and expand. Uh, night ravens, I don't know whether you have them here in Finland as well, three people walking in the evening with yellow jackets. It's in Sweden, it's in uh, Norway, no, no, I think it's Sweden. And then, uh, for example, we have Baba, which is, and uh, which is like minority fathers and minority mothers. Uh, they are, we have about 1,500 volunteers uh, in there where fathers try to, well, engage themselves into father, uh, uh, how they can become better fathers or more engaged fathers in this new context. And for the Büdelschmüller, it's in about half of the Danish municipalities. We have about 45 groups where the um, women, they get to know their own rights and, and, and design uh, projects where they help other minority women, uh, newcomers to the country, socially isolated women who maybe don't know the rights, whatever. So in all these different matters, they go out and help. So it's a lot of peer-to-peer -peer, uh, uh, activities. And then we have things to do with democracy, things to do with uh, reading dogs, lesehun. That's an interesting one. We have about 150 couples with dog where a dog sits and listen to a child <laughs> reading a book it's a very simple thing but dogs are they don't judge <laughs> that's just that little detail uh, makes the whole magic and the kids they read to them it's all kind of kids uh, so we have like uh all different sorts also for example if if uh, uh, if somebody has committed suicide so in Denmark, the families only have one, uh, by law, only one hour of psychological help, and that's it. So we have a, a voluntarily organization, a whole setup where people can call into professionals for free and, and, and talk and you know get through the, the trauma, et cetera. So it's a very, very different scope of things we do. Uh, yes. And as I am in charge of the development, so I also always have a developmental focus on things. And this is like, regardless of its uh, cooking evening food at home, or it's talking here, this is the first question I always ask if my kids, they're sick and tired of it. <laughs> but, but the thing of, of, are we solving the right problem? is uh, and especially in this context in this discussion we've had we've spent millions if not billions in the nordic with minorities in the past 40 50 years talking about integration uh, there are tons of project you know every new day in every little area there are like 40 different projects running around at the same time and at the same time they're closing and then they're opening and then they're this and that so I, I think we've done integration projects in all matters. And um, and I always, uh, I'm very critical of them. I personally, myself, working within this field for the past 15, 16 years, I do not know what integration is. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, but I'm, I'm a so-called expert, but I simply don't know what the word is. It's a, it's a feeling, I think, you know, it's a, uh that's at least how uh it's it's seen uh i mean if i ask you guys there will be a diff hundred different uh perspectives on that so but the first thing is to make sure that we are solving the right problem and it's not only me but a friend of mine on the picture he once said that uh, if if i was given 60 minutes to solve a problem 
I will spend 55 minutes of them on looking at the problem, not at the solutions. Uh, normally, we don't discuss problems that much. We just, you know, go into the solutions uh, when we are designing. Uh, in politics, yes, that's a different story. Uh, so if we have people of this caliber saying that this is what they would do, so either we have to really, we really need to have some really great arguments of doing something else if we have to bid it. So until you don't give me them, you can interrupt me. Uh, I'll stick to this one. So another rule. Uh, okay, I think I think I brought the brought the wrong uh, wrong slide. Uh, that was not the point. The point was more um, that I mean I can't I can't I do and even if I can I don't. I'm quite extreme. I don't give a fish. I give a fishing rod. In 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 all matters. Uh, so. And this would, this would be my focus today as well, because I cannot give you a solution because I don't know which problem you're sitting with today and which mood you are in today, whether you had a fight with your husband before coming here or something. I don't know. So everything can change. The context you are in is different as well. So it will be more about, you know, focusing on some values maybe or some perspectives so that you can adopt them when you come home. Otherwise, if I just give you a solution, you go back and uh, and try to solve it because it's a different context. It's not a context I don't know. It won't work. And then you're just going to blame it on me and a waste of a day. You know? So I don't want to take that responsibility. So I will just, you know, uh, fishing rod. Cool. And why this focus? And why is it that I'm beating around the bush? Because it's a sensitive topic and we have to warm up. So I'm trying to make a base saying, whatever we're going to do, talk about today, uh, it comes from a good place. It it comes uh, from uh, both method. Also, it has a basis in methodology. So it's also from a literally uh, well uh, uh, developed place. So when we have to solve something, we have to go through uh, what I do when I've designed different projects is, uh, is, is have this social innovation process. I'm a nerd when it comes to innovation. I'm a complete nerd. I read everything about it. I study. I do experiments. I challenge everything I know myself almost every day. And then, you know, and so, so I'm a, in a different world when it comes to it. If you look at, if you listen to the experts, about 70% of everything they say that that is uh, developed solutions, about 70% of them, they don't solve the problem they were set to uh, solve. 70%. So if you look like the rest of the world and you develop, so 70% of you, the solution you, you've developed would not be solving the problem it was said to be. That's waste of money. And one main reason, one the like main reason, is that you spend almost no time on looking at the problem. We just go into the action. Yes, you know, uh, Ukrainian came from from Ukraine. Room, let's find solutions. You know. Then we go in and find solutions. We basically, we know that they look like us, like, sorry, uh, majority. <laughs> uh, and then that's basically it, right? In Denmark, they were categorized as a non-Western country up until the crisis. And then they came into a new category. So so, so even there, there there's, there's so much cultural differences as well, and et cetera, et cetera. But, but something else happened again. Solution, solution, solutions, uh, uh, but without looking at the problems. And then comparing this with what uh, Einstein said, that he would use 55 minutes on looking at the problem and not looking at the solution, right? 
uh, this uh, the innovation process model is actually uh, there is an uh, the it's uh, the source is there. It's a book from the Open Book of Social Innovation. You can download it for free online. Uh, it's developed on basis of about 200 projects uh, run by uh, English NGOs, successful projects within England and outside. So they took it, took the DNA, challenged it up with the base, uh, with the with the innovation studies which are there, and on basis of them they developed this model, right? And the whole thing in this model is that the first phase, the first phase is the magical phase. They spend a lot of time on looking at the problem. Uh, and then they go to the next where they start to find some solutions and test them, et cetera, et cetera. So this is uh, what we do. So next step. Uh, and I think... 60 or 70 or 80 percent of the the answers of what to do i think i've already given you uh, go back look at your problems redefine them phrase them and then this is this helps as well look at uh, uh, the different perspectives which perspective have we been uh, used to look at problems uh, I mean, uh, if I uh, give me glasses with a yellow uh, mirror or, or yellow glass, then, you know, my whole world will change because suddenly it's all sunshine. Give me dark. You know, the whole world is changed. So I don't have to do all the big things to make the world change. I just change my glasses. Same thing with perspectives, right? If I give you a piece of paper in the middle and I put a cow in the middle and I say, hey, draw this uh, cow you will all have different uh, pictures. Who is right uh, and who's wrong? Everybody's right. But what happens when we work with something? Do we challenge our perspectives? Do we know which obstacle, which glasses we are wearing uh, when we are designing something? What do we see? And what, even more important, what is it that we don't see? So if you're standing at the back, uh, just like the lady, and looking at the rope of the elephant, <laughs> the tail, you will definitely design something that has to do with that. But you don't realize the problem. And in many cases, when it comes to minorities, we don't speak with them or segments generally because it takes time. It's time consuming. If we do projects, um, we say that hmm, uh, we don't have so much time in it to have uh, to build relation with the minority groups. That's the general thing that I see. Uh, most of the projects that come to me and say, "Oh, Asim, can you help because we are in day?" No, it's not working. And look at the budget. There is almost no budget for the relational work. And then I'm like, uh, "I can't save your. <laughs> uh, I can't save you." Because uh, you you design to fail, uh, so I mean, uh, sorry, uh, I can't. Uh, so my my um, so this was the last. I think now we have almost ninety percent of the solutions already, without even talking about specifically. Just looking at our own perspective, just changing our own point of view looking around uh, and and talking to the right people who know something about it but also talking to the people who live in it and nobody's right but everybody all together have some uh, higher chance to be right does it make sense so far yeah okay so if you look at migration we look at the labor policies etc we, we we have a couple of problems here in the Nordic, right? When it comes to the labor market. These are some of the tendencies, but the list is really, really long. Uh, we have, uh, uh, well, we are in desperate need of labor. Uh, the global market, we have a climate change. You know, uh, we need brains. We need the uh, human power to, to design uh, the differences. We have challenges with the uh, the demographic challenge our uh, our i think it's all over nordic the same situation the elderly generation 
is uh, is uh, is becoming elderly more we don't give birth to just as many kids anymore uh, as we used to uh, so we're one per back in days maybe three uh, working people had to take care of one elderly's uh, uh, it's not a burden it's uh, uh, yeah the finances for it today the number is is lower so we are fewer to carry uh, the responsibilities we have to our elders or to our kids as well, right? The the welfare society is challenged. It's completely challenged. So how do we, uh, how do we, uh, uh, for that we need human capital, right? We need, we need more hands. We need more brains. We need, I mean, everything, right? Uh, and, um, and then there's a challenge as well. Right? Before, I mean, just in my my friends group, there were six. If we just take Indians, right, highly educated Indians who came to Copenhagen for work, uh, six of my friends uh, came within the last four or five years. Four of them are gone back. Why? Because they say, well, we don't like the way our ch children are treated in the schools. So what can a highly qualified uh, workforce here do? Because can McDonald's do something about the homes? No, McDonald's can. I, I have some good friends who uh, the school couldn't contain, who the universities could. They were, they were smart people, but, but, but they did not have the right um, uh, context or help. But then they started in McDonald's years back. Today, all four of them, they have leadership jobs different places because they had something really nice. On the same time, when, 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 uh, so, so it's, it's, so it's not that everybody's not good and everybody's not bad. It's not like I'm pointing fingers at, you know, this is just different perspective. And we have to, uh, we have to take everything into consideration. We just can't work on this one thing and sleep on the other side. And we are not doing it because we try to be uh, welcoming and, you know, good people and all that. We're doing it because it's, sorry to say, our ass on stake. You know, in 10 years, 20 years, 30, 40 years, we're old. <laughs> uh, we need to be taken care of. Who? What? Or I'd rather say, what do we want us would take care of us? A cold, a robot picking us up, washing us, or, you know, who is it who's doing it? And is it the minorities who are going to do it? We're again looking back at minorities, you know? Uh, we're again looking back at minorities to solve these problems, the jobs which we don't want. So every time there's a job uh, miss, uh, uh, a, a job, uh, uh, yeah. Uh, what do you call a miss in a, a convention or something? Exhibition, right? For minorities, you always have these uh, companies coming up, cleaning this and that and that, right? Um, minorities think that, hmm, why only this? This is also good, but why only this? What does it say about the majority? And today, Me Too, uh, 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 Black Lives Matter, everything, the world is small. Uh, we focus, you know, the kids, the youth, they learn what's going on all other places. And, uh, uh, and, 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 and when they come and meet, they have all that information. So it's not like things used to be. They look at their parents' generation, or many look at the minorities who came in 60s, 70s, at that time, when when the Nordic countries needed help, right, and they look at how they are doing today, where are they? Where are the elders uh, in the health sector there or in the elder? How many organizations work with them for them? How are they feeling? So everything is integrated. So it's a new world order sort of thing. Um, how much time do I have? Five minutes. Okay. So the thing with the who defines success, 
who does it? Uh, when I come in a, a room with two hands and a brain, you guys can look at me and say, that guy is an idiot. You know, he's speaking English, he's this and that. You can just turn me off. And I can talk here, I can do whatever with all the competencies I have. You've written me off because I'm wearing blue uh, pants and in Finland you don't wear blue pants, for example, or whatever, right? And then I can do whatever I do. You know, many of you, most of you are sitting women. You know the game, how it happens. You know, it's 10, 20 years ago, what happened, you know? You came in in the room and you could do whatever. Nobody would take you serious. Right? It's frustrating. So who defines success? Uh, whose responsibility is that as well? Is it the, uh, the, the minority or the majority? And we feel minorities ask questions today, right? If I score, I'm a Dane. If I don't, I'm a foreigner, right? Not only me as a foreigner, but whole local area, you know? The whole city or the whole minorities are bad. But if we have success, only that simple uh, one person is uh, is strong, right? So this high level, so it, it's, it's a huge challenge that we have as uh, employers as well, retention rate. How do we make sure that we keep people? Today, the competency is high. I've, I've been contacted by many people in the Middle East saying, well, Asim, do you know any doctors? You know, my wife is a doctor. Do you know any doctors who uh, can come and work here? We would give, you know, weeks free travel. They can see, they can this and that. Uh, and I was like, take my wife, you know. <laughs> but, 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 but the thing is, the world is getting smaller. It's really serious and high tech, you know. And, and my son, he's 20. He's a professional basketball player. He's never been to Pakistan where we originally come from. The first time he was about 15 in Dubai. I'm not a big fan of Dubai. Uh, we came out of Dubai Mall and he said, Baba, it's the first time I feel home. I'm like, I'm shopping mall. What? You know? And I was like, what's going on? And he's like, well, you know, I could uh, I could hear the the Adhan, you know, the, Mus the Muslim uh, 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 call to, to, to prayers. I could see that, you know, women were covered and they were not covered. They were you know, all different and nobody was looking. Nobody was looking at you as if you were weird. And he's 15, you know, and, and it's the first time he said that. I f that was shocking. Even if you look at the, the study, the, the all literature, everything you look at is 99% uh, on minorities and 1% on the majority when you look at integration. Uh, they are the problem integration projects, right? They have to be, I, 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 I uh, developed this fatherhood program. I didn't develop it on base of color. I developed it on base of how do you facilitate identity change you know in the workforce i use the theories from their innovation and all that nothing with color well we won prizes on color <laughs> the only one we won on dialogue was you know i was that was the one i was proud of but all the others were uh not a prize and i always said that it's not a prize it's an insult but i'm not i'm i'm, I'm this is it doesn't it has it's not a brown thing Fatherhood is a fatherhood issues. If you look at, for example, I came to Finland to do a speech many years ago when we were starting to work with the uh, 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 fatherhood programs. And I went to a ministry where we looked at how many um, Finnish men took Basel uh, leave, paternal leave uh, after work. Uh, so the number was here compared to Nordic, right? For the white uh, Finnish men and for the minority Finnish, the number was here, right? Just so. For the Danish uh, white, it was here. And for Danish minorities, it was here. Swedish white, it was here. Swedish minority, it was here. So minority men in Sweden were much more like Swedish men in Sweden compared to uh, 
the same Somali uh, father uh, with the same maybe from the same village in Somalia but brought up here he looked more like his Finnish friend rather than uh, his uh, his Somalian friend in Sweden. You see what I mean? Because we are so color-blinded or too color-focused, we solve the wrong problems. And and then you have this white innocence, right? Ugh, very uncomfortable, just uh, one of the final things. It's a, it's a phenomenon based on the well-intentioned Understanding that issues of racism, racialization are no longer relevant. It belongs to the past. Nazism, colonialism, we have moved away from it. Therefore, it makes sense to talk about cultural, religious, and ethnic differences. You know, let's clean the table, put a new sheet on, and then just pretend that everything is beautiful. You know, we know that as well. We've done it. We've been through it, everybody. <laughs> and, uh, and, um, and it's really, really important uh, here in, in America. We don't do these studies in Nordic countries, but in States we do, in UK we do, and in South Africa we do. And there, uh, recent last year, I think there was a report saying the white majority's point of view on the black communities on you in USA was in general that they are lazy, the ones who haven't made it. They're lazy. And then they made uh, some pictures of these uh, slave owners uh, farms saying the same thing that you have to really beat these uh, slaves harshly and be after them because they're black and therefore they are lazy wow you know so many years through same thing happening colonization all these things they do matter they form our prejudice we have to look, we have to change our glasses, is my point. And that's my perspective on, on, on this one. Just getting into the solutions, insist, yes, insist on this reflection, insist on the perspectives, and insist on being within this. Because we have so many examples, we could keep on, keep on going it. But just basic, and it's a simple message. Uh, it's not hardcore statistics. I could come up with you, make a presentation on numbers, figures, facts, and all that. Forget about it, because integration is a feeling thing. It's never been about facts. So if we want to solve it, we also have to go out. And statistics, I think it was, was, it was Winston Churchill who said that there are lies, and then there are greater lies, and then there are statistics. You know? uh, so you can use numbers as you want. This. I think uh, try to find your blind spots and uh, add it with all the other perspectives as well. And then I think there will be something good. And then buy the book, which is called, it's in Danish, just came out. It, I have nothing to do with it. I don't get any money by it or nothing. It's just too, uh, uh, too uh, I've, what I've said is some of what they say. They come also come out, out with solutions based on schooling and uh, high school, et cetera, et cetera, within the pedagogical field. But I think you can uh, transfer the same key learnings into all different matters. So that was it.